Hello my friends, I'm here in Israel and I wanted to speak to you today about the kidnapping of three of our boys as we're saying here in Israel. There's a big operation going on by the Israeli army to bring back our boys and this is something that is consuming the media and consuming our hearts here in the Holy Land. It's the first time in the history of Israel that three boys at the same time were kidnapped by terrorists. And there's a lot of misinformation uh, being presented in the media, so I just wanted to give you a little bit of real information from Israel on what the situation is. They were kidnapped now because just a few days ago, Hamas, a terrorist group, and the Palestinian Authority, which is the legal representatives of the Palestinian people, a government, signed a unity pact. Just a few months ago, Israel was in negotiations with the Palestinian Authority, and one of the biggest obstacles is how could the Palestinian Authority sign a contract, an agreement, for the Palestinian people in Gaza that are ruled by a terrorist body. And we can't have Hamas, who's terrorists, be ruling a people and expect to see peace. The peace talks with the Palestinians failed because all of the land that Israel offered in return to peace was not enough and the Palestinian Authority, who's the moderate group of the Palestinians, refused to even recognize Israel as being a Jewish homeland. The peace talks failed and within a week, Hamas and the Palestinian Authority were talking about reconciliation. Now, just a few days before these boys were kidnapped, the Israeli boys were kidnapped, Hamas and the Palestinian Authority signed a unity agreement that they were both going to be the legal representatives of the Palestinian people. What that means is that Hamas terrorists are no longer confined only to the Gaza Strip, but they're active and have authority even within the West Bank. What's the West Bank? The West Bank of Israel is located just a 10 minute drive from Jerusalem. And so a lot of times people hear the West Bank, they think it's some far off town on the border of Israel. It's not. It's central Israel and there are over 250,000 Jewish people who live in a certain part of the West Bank. It's called Gush Etzion Black. Gush Etzion Black, where over 250,000 Jews lived and only around 50,000 Palestinians, is a part of the West Bank that has never been up for negotiations. That is the part of the West Bank, just 10 minutes away from Jerusalem, a part that's not up for negotiation, that the majority is Jewish. That's where these boys were kidnapped. They weren't kidnapped inside some small Palestinian village. They weren't kidnapped deep in the West Bank, that's the future of a Palestinian state. They were kidnapped in an area that is predominantly Jewish, majority Jewish, under Jewish rule, and is not up for negotiation. And they were coming home from their yeshiva, and what I see is that a lot of the media reports are calling them settlers that were kidnapped while they were hitchhiking. And automatically that kind of takes the responsibility off of Hamas, that you're saying, well, they kind of deserved it, is what the media is implying. The reason why they were hitchhiking is because there's not good public transportation there. Old people, single mothers, mothers with children, couples, families, that's the way you get around in that part of the West Bank. And because it's predominantly Jewish, it's safe to hitchhike. There are hundreds and hundreds of people that hitchhike daily to get from one part of the West Bank to another part or to Jerusalem 10 minutes away because there's not public transportation. The fact that these boys were hitchhiking is not something unusual, is not something that has been known to be dangerous, and they are responsible, religious, faithful, obedient boys that were kidnapped by terrorists. Hamas is a terrorist group. The pact that was signed between the PA, the Palestinian Authority, and Hamas is what led to this kidnapping. The fact that Israel has been pressured to release hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of terrorists in our jails is what led to this kidnapping. The terrorists are using these three students as bait. And we see it in their cartoons that they're posting. We see it the way that they're talking. They're using them as bait that Israel will come in and trade in hundreds of prisoners to get them back. And so what I'm asking for you is to understand the situation to stand with the Israeli people in prayer and political support. Have your voice be heard loud and clear whatever way it can. 
these three boys must come home to Israel. Hamas is a terrorist body and we must fight for our survival here. We must bring the boys home and we pray, we pray, we pray that we won't have to pay a heavy price for it. Please stand with us during this time of hardship. Stand with us during Operation My Brother's Keeper and continue to stay alert through all the different fellowship channels on most up-to-date news from Israel. God bless you.